Okay, um, you might have seen some of my videos um, taken with this, the Contour HD um, helmet cam, uh, and you, most of them I've put audio over the top, except for a few when the audio runs out, and you just hear that uh, you can't hear much at all. You can hear the wind. That's about it. The mic is there, the little dot. That's the standard. So mic. this is an attempt like most others on YouTube already to show how to add an external mic. Um, unlike most that I've seen on YouTube, which are a retrospective video showing how they did to put it in, this video is going to be an attempt from scratch. I went to JCAR, which is a, like a radio shack in Australia, um, and bought a lapel mic. Um, there's the pipe, let's click come off. So that is the mic that will go into my helmet and it's just got a typical audio plug. I also bought this little um, plug which you can just put the wires into. I didn't buy any wire because this wire is way too long so I'm just going to take some of that wire to put into the cam itself and put that on there. Um, and that'll be the bit that hangs out. Okay, so there's some good videos already on YouTube which might do a better job than me than showing you how they opened it. So um, I'm not going to go into that detail. First thing is take the battery out. Good tip, um, just so you're not running with a live camera. Um, and then basically unscrew it all. So let's do that now. Start with this one. Good tip if you're an Aussie is to have some Bundy rum before you do this, like I have, just to get rid of the shakes. And also, if you damage your camera, which you are doing technically because you're no longer under warranty, um, hopefully, you won't care as much. But hopefully you only damage the mic and then in which case who just cares because it didn't work anyway for the purpose that I'm using it for. So, um, and also I've never used a soldering iron before too. So this will be a good test. Although, as most people recommend, you should be quite good with a soldering iron. So we'll see how we go. All right. So there's all the screws externally. Um, I think I have to unscrew this now. Can't unscrew. Okay, it's the camera too. And we have those cut. Might give it a bit of cleaning on here. I have had a few bugs run into this. Looks like they've got in around the edge. Okay, what was the next bit? Let's try sliding this forward. Okay. a little tape here. That's set off. Cool. That's the switch. Supposedly there's a... I don't think I'll actually have to peel that one off. I should be able to sit that into there. There is a screw in there that I can see. So... Back to the scene of the camera. So you can see where the plastic's drying from either side. Um, I'm sure I have to get rid of this bottom bit somehow. Okay, so that's just pulling it apart. So 
this one. It's cool. Okay, the back's just that cover's just falling out, and there it slipped out. Cool. So this is actually quite easy so far. Um, we've got another bit of tape there. So you can see that this is actually two plastic pieces here, one side, one side, and um, there are some screws there and there. And there's also these a black tape there, and that red tape there is a sticker. Um, and they are holding this seam, this plastic bit across the top together. So if we just peel that back to halfway, undo that screw, it's already undone, and undo that screw. Now I can feel all the plastic start releasing now. So, oh. no, there's another screw. Lucky I didn't put too much effort into pulling them apart. Okay, there's a screw there. Now, let's try. There we go. Durr. Alright, so we'll just get that other screw to drop out. Alright, pull these plastic bits back again. And. Hold the camera, and there we have it. Okay, so looking in there, I'll try to get a bit more light. Um, you can see the red and black cable going down to the other mic, which sits directly above that hole. So just there is that mic and it's just a cheap little standard mic so that was just sitting in there okay that's out now there it is so really poor quality sorry about that that's this is running off a macbook's built-in insight and then oh, those screws have actually loosened the board we just and the, unfortunately the mic looks like it's soldered in on the back of the board, which is maybe a bit hard. I'm gonna have to pull this out. Cool, I don't know if you can see that, but there's another cable going to what looks like a mic, but it's not, it'd actually be the uh, speaker that makes the beeping noises to let you know when it's in record mode, when it's turned off, when recording stopped, that type of stuff. So that's sitting against the case. So just been super careful now. Uh, I'll just give you a look there. Um, and that mic is off the front there. So, um, it's all open, and that is the HD SD switch that's just fallen out there. So, I have to remember to put that one, which is let me just get the screwdriver pointed out, which is those points there. Um, it's really fine, there's a few diodes there as well. Uh, I'm not going to bother, I'm not going to risk pulling that apart and re-solder out. It's got some nice glue there to hold it. So I am just going to, so I need some wire to put that on the end of it. Um, and then of course that will plug into that, into the helmet. So I need to leave that in there. This is the lapel mark. There's a microphone. So they it's only that's the size of the stock one. Quite small. That's the size of the one I'm putting in it. A little bit larger, but it could be the same size. It's gonna the, the benefit's gonna be come up, come from where I replace it, which is inside my helmet, which should be a bit more insulated from the um, wind. 